on this. First of all, let's talk about this idea of the Georgia voter laws. Democrats are saying these are Jim Crow laws, are they? The Democrats are race baiting. They are wrong. Look, I've reviewed the Georgia law myself. What Georgia's doing is the absolute right thing. I know the president's running around trying to tell people that you can't give somebody a cup of water, but that's not what Georgia law says. What Georgia law says is that you can't give people something of value when they're in lines getting ready to vote because, you know, we don't want to buy off votes in America. That's like a sound uh, concept. That's what we should be doing. The other thing that's happening in these voting lines, people are getting these voter cards when they're also getting something of value in the lines. And so the Georgia legislature is right to get rid of that provision in Georgia law and make sure that they can't do those things. That's simple stuff, John. This is not what they're trying to say. They're trying to race bait because they know they got the argument wrong and they don't have a leg to stand on, so they got to use race. Yeah, apparently the law does not prohibit a, something like a charitable organization from dropping off a few pallets of water at a polling place and having the poll workers give it out. Here's what the Georgia uh, Governor Brian Kemp said about all of this. Listen here. I can, you know, truthfully look in the camera and, and ask my African-American friends and other African-Americans in Georgia to simply find out what's in the bill versus just the blank statement of this is Jim Crow or you know, this is voter suppression or this is racist, because it is not. It expands early voting in Georgia. It also further secures the ballot with the photo ID requirement. You know, uh, Congressman Donalds, I want to put up the voting laws in one state here, and I want to put these up blind. Uh, this particular state requires voter ID to vote. There is no same-day voter registration, no early voting unless it's absentee voting, and there is no no excuse absentee voting. People at home might be saying, oh my gosh, what state would be so restrictive? Bingo, here is the state. It is the president's home state of Delaware. Those laws much more restrictive than what's being proposed in Georgia. Listen. You are absolutely correct, which is why what the Democrats are doing here, they are weaponizing race again. They are race baiting. And forever, they always try to accuse Republicans of doing it. Well, now I'm accusing them of doing it. That's exactly what they're doing. And they're gaslighting on top of it because they have no argument about the legitimacy of what has been done in the state of Georgia, mm -hmm. fixing their election laws. Frankly, what we've done in Florida, having the best election laws in the country. Yep. So because they don't have a sound argument, they got to go bellyache and scream about race. But it is a lie. What they did in Georgia is the right Right thing. It actually protects the votes for all of Georgia residents, with, whether you're white, you're black, you're Asian, you're Hispanic, it doesn't matter. You still have the ability to go out to the polls and vote yeah. and nobody will stop you.